Hello everybody and welcome or welcome back to the channel. This is your girl Mani and we are finally, 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 finally getting into another hair video. Okay, you guys, I know, don't kill me, don't kill me. It's just really been a whole hair drought. Like I started with the hair content and there's been no hair content. We just know that we're still in the transitionary period and I feel like we're gonna take this video as a like little win that we're finally really getting back to the things because like I'm really sitting down and doing a hair video. I wrote a whole list to structure this video because it's been, I wanna say, I wanna say four, but maybe five months since I've really been giving the girls tea. We gonna get right into this hair. We gonna get right into the updates. We gonna get right into the products I'm using. I have everything right here. Like I'm really not playing with y'all, trust me. So grab your tea, grab your water. I got the good old purified water um, from Ralph's. You know, you see the glow, you see the glow. Okay. Now let's for sure get into this hair. Y'all know at the beginning of the year, I tried the wash and go, hated the wash and go, like hated it. It took me so long to just get, I think I labeled the video like a wash and fro no or something like that. Something kind of catchy or creative or I thought was catchy or creative. Shortly thereafter, I fell in love with the wash and go. So if y'all know, I did my spring break in Cape Town, South Africa, was supposed to be there for a week, ended up being there for a month. And the plan was, to um put my hair in some braids but that's right when i found out oh yeah that was probably one of the last videos i did that was right when i found out that i think the braiding hair and me were just not best friends i did my research and the braiding hair for real for real i mean it's really some of y'all best friends but for the sensitive skin girls like me it's just will never be our best friend i plan to do a whole video of like washing the braiding hair and i still have the footage so i'm gonna put it here so you guys can like peep my game so i washed the braiding hair because of all the research i did and just the water post washing the braiding hair like i just couldn't wrap my mind around putting it in my hair still like it just baffled me that all the all these years of me putting braiding hair in my hair and then like like even like a few days later just having that itch you know and i have sensitive skin i have like eczema like this is not uncharted territories for me like i i have really sensitive skin but just seeing all that guck uck and nastiness as y'all can now see on this screen i just couldn't do it i just couldn't do it so i ended up just going to africa like natural and then i literally wore my hair in wash and goes the whole month and then i ended up carrying that into when i came back the only issue about when i came back was after planning to be away a week and then coming back like a month later whole life being in shams y'all knew i was in grad school like it really was a full yolo moment don't regret it but also wouldn't recommend like if you're gonna go for a month go for a month and plan that you're gonna go for a month um but yeah don't regret it in the stress of coming back and life being so crazy because as y'all see in the vlogs like in the beginning of the year like my life and this is what i need for my life to be like i'm type a like it was dip, 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 like i had a whole like schedule and that just wasn't it coming back and then i graduated hit the post-graduation depression so it was like fully neglecting my hair didn't braid it rarely washed it like i would wash it just to do my wash and goes but they would be like um half ass wash and goes like really like doing a wash and go and then being mad that I did a wash and go because it wasn't lasting like how it was lasting and thriving in Africa. Do you know what I'm saying? So then I started having my hair out and not protected. So I started playing with it. And when I when I say I really noticed this in July. So I want to say like two months of hair neglect really started to peak in July when I started to really take my time with wash and goes. And seeing that like, oh, it's broken. Like it's actually dead ass broken. So yeah, once uh, it just even became way more stressful because I still was in that transitionary period of my life of graduating college, trying to find a job. Sorry, we gonna really get to the hair stuff in like 2.5 seconds, but I just wanna give you guys background. Slacking on my health, X, Y, and Z, you know what I'm trying to say? So hair was just breaking. Like my hair is broken right now. Like right now we've been rocking this just because I don't know what to do. But okay, let's go down the list, Money. We can't waste these people's time. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. Stress breakage, really noticed in July, said all that. Okay, so six minutes later into this video, we are here, present day, what I've been doing with my hair. 
so i want to say now that we are back to the not old money but like back to the a, fam a familiar money you know what i'm trying to say so um we've been doing the hair we've been doing weekly um what we have been doing weekly deep conditions and then i've been blow drying it just because i know you guys are about to say this is counterintuitive which i believe it is too but it's like i'm to the point now where i rather risk slight heat damage and you but use products that help with heat damage or control that when i'm before i'm blow drying um instead of risking fairy knots like when i have the wash and goes don't get me wrong fell in love with my hair i love the i love me a wash and go when i tell y'all i rather if i could if i could i know this is a complete 180 but if i could i would wear wash and goes every day like i love me a wash and go so um but yeah we just can't do that right now and it starts with the fairy knots so i rather risk blow drying my hair every time i wash my hair in deep condition than just doing wash and go risking the um the fairy knots and yeah we're just not at a stage in our life where we actually have time to really sit down and braid like i want to tell you guys honestly first of all i filmed a couple braid videos so many times trying to put in the vlog but because of my broken hair and getting so frustrated they just never made the vlogs second of all i sat down in front of this mirror this weekend for an hour and 15 minutes like trying to even attempt to braid and i just couldn't do it so we've just been rocking a bun girl i've never been a bun girl never 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 and i'm actually starting to like it you know because you know i work in the doctor's office now if y'all know y'all know you keep up with the vlogs i work in a doctor's office now so i guess it just gives me like a nice little sleek look um and i've been using murray's to like sleek it down with just the, the, the scarf i really don't like like i'm not liking to this this use so if you guys have an alternative of like if you guys are a button slick back girl that's like kind of natural please recommend in the comment section below like is there something you recommend i think i'm going to transition to reese haven't used grease since i was a child so i just gotta find um a good replacement because this do be making it slick without making it like stuck you know what i'm trying to say um but i still don't like the waxiness of it i'm really starting not to like it especially because i'm like putting it like a like i'm rubbing it in my hand melting it putting it on my hair like every day like i should not be doing that so we're gonna see in the next couple of days if we can find a transition for this okay moving on so also aside from doing my um i've been doing weekly deep conditions i have changed my diet gone back to like how i usually be like healthy girl period and uh since I work in an OBGYN's office, I be getting all that inside tea. Like, I just be like, what you recommend, doc? What you recommend, doc? Just getting that free little, in, um, that free um, advice, you know? Um, and my doctor recommends Blood Builder, the Mega Foods brand. I'm um, sorry, you can't see it. But it's Blood Builder, the Mega Foods brand. I've been using this for, I want to say, three weeks now in place of my iron pills because she said you could use the iron pills or this. When I tell you game changer and i'm so upset because i feel like i did research about this um i did research about this when i really started taking my iron seriously but i was just like no like i want something that's like an iron pill but it's just if you an anemic girl low iron girl like you know like it's just those red pills just don't give like they just don't give but this this has been giving and i i genuinely i feel a difference like even in my energy like sometimes i didn't realize like and even my nails like all the, the low uh, um iron anemia symptoms i just feel like it's it's really helped me and then uh the second thing second we're back to religiously taking our ritual religiously taking our ritual prenatal vitamins no i'm not pregnant no i'm not trying to get pregnant but i saw that the ritual multivitamin and the prenatal vitamin they have like the same thing but just two extra vitamins and then higher dosages in the iron and a couple other ones so i was just like i'm gonna need this one and i also read too on their website that it's okay to take this even if you're like not trying you know like it's just vitamins you know what i'm trying to say so we've been taking that for the internal side because i'm realizing now being on this journey for a serious two years now two years now yeah a serious two years now like my hair growth and my hair health it is not gonna come from the products. It'll never come from the products. Like the products will help me be popping. Don't get us wrong. But as far as hair health, hair length, it's always gonna be internal for me and it's always gonna be stress related for me. Like 
you can tell me what product to use what product not to use and when i tell you i truly believe that it will never no not even i truly believe i know it'll not make a difference for me unless the internal is is right so that's what we've been doing on the internal side let's see what's next okay now you've made it to the product side of this video First and foremost, I want to shout out South Africa. I am planning on making a, well, Cape Town, South Africa. Um, I am planning on making a reflection video. I do want to do that too. I really think that that would be like a nice little thing to make. But while I was announced in South Africa, obviously I didn't bring any products because obviously I was only going to be there for a week. I ended up being there for a month. And so we had to grab product. So the one, and when I was grabbing product down there, I really wanted to make sure that it was um made in south africa and so i really just gotta shout out this brand it's the grow grow on the go the perfect hair the basil root i was using their shampoo and their conditioner and they have a leave-in this i swear i let me just yes i swear to you I love this product like honestly if I because I only have like the shampoo left and I probably should still you know just use the shampoo but when I tell you the conditioner and the leave-in conditioner was just yo that gem left my hair buttery like buttery like I I like to you not I really do love that product so I just really had to shout y'all shout y'all out because I really do believe that while I was in South Africa this was helping my um my wash and goes like be popping like straight up so I really do love that product. We use that, we no longer use that. Okay, now on to the products that we are currently using. We are using Verb. My hairstylist actually recommended this to me. Um, she uses the hydrating one, the blue one of this in her salon. Um, but I ended up just, I don't know why, just trying the curl one first. But I really love both of the shampoo and the conditioner. I love, love, love them and i did also where 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 i did also grab the curl leave-in conditioner um i don't love it i don't hate it wouldn't buy again i'm actually probably going to return this so that i can try to get this other product that i'm about to show you guys um and then i tried their curl cream just for the heck of it i don't know why um definitely don't get this product this is a waste of money but the leave-in conditioner i mean you guys can try it if you want to i i'm not really hyped up about it so these two you can use, but I am going to be returning so that I can get my babies. Okay, these are my babies. The It's a 10 are my babies. They're my babies. This leave-in conditioner, I've always used a cream leave-in conditioner um, like this, like the verb one. Sorry, I'm gonna put a better picture on the screen. Um, and I really would have, would have never gravitated unless my hairstyles had told me to use this and she's using this in her salon um, i would have never gravitated to a spray leave-in conditioner unless i had braids um but this it's a 10 i love it so much it detangles it just it gives my hair everything that it needs in this like fragile state that it's in right now so i highly 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 recommend this and then a new development is their deep conditioner their deep conditioner is is everything and more like when I tell you my hair is butter butter with this like I'm actually gonna try to return these two so that I can get um, a bigger one of this if not the same size because I do have a 17 ounce I believe and I do see myself using this for the foreseeable future because as I've said or haven't said and I'm about to say right now I've been using this weekly for my deep conditions and I it, it's I'm probably going to use this for the rest of the year. So we're going to have to re-up on this. Um, and then just so you guys know, and I'm probably going to do a wash and go for my birthday and maybe probably give you guys a little tutorial just so I can feel a little cute. You know what I'm saying? We are still married to the Uncle Funky's daughter. Um, yeah, this is definitely going to be a staple. I like to do this before I go in with my eco styler just so that the good stuff is actually coating the strands and then like the not so good stuff is giving what it needs to give. Do you know what I'm trying to say? Um, so yeah, that's all we have been using. Sorry, y'all, I ran out of storage. That's God telling me that we gotta, one, start editing these videos and two, wrap up this video. But like, as I was saying, it's just very frustrating to like get on camera and try to do your hair when you just are super frustrated and in a rut. But I realized that's the part of the journey that 
you guys want to see because we're just all struggling and even though it's annoying to be back in this position we're probably just gonna always hopefully not always but like as life goes on we're gonna be in our um down you know part of the hair so we just gotta we just gotta revive the hair so the hair videos are coming back we are getting back into a steady flow oops sorry <laughs> well not sorry for you but i dropped the water bottle um but yeah thanks for sticking with me sticking with your girl um i'm gonna keep y'all updated if not on these little sit down videos definitely in the vlogs and any questions comments concerns anything that i didn't cover oh last and i got this blow dryer from ulta hot tools professional stylist preferred uh is fire it's just fire um and i don't even think it was that expensive my brother actually got it for me anyways that was the last thing that i didn't tell you guys but yeah comments questions concerns leave them down in the comment section below i love you guys thanks for rocking with me and i will catch you guys in the next one ciao for now